Hi everyone, welcome to Knowledge Center. I am here with a new video question paper that is relevant to a analog electronics subject. So I have taken a question from the year 2019 June July. So this is the first question from that question paper which is dealing with a clipper circuit. So let's see how to solve this circuit here. So the question says that there is a circuit which is shown in the figure for which you need to sketch the output waveform and also provide the transfer characteristics for cutting voltage 0.7 volt. So it means this is the circuit given and these two diodes is having a cutting voltage of 0.7. So in general, in some in other words, they can also give it as an a these two diodes are of silicon diodes. Right. And now this is the input magnitude of 10 volt. For this circuit, what would be the output? You need to plot the output as well as you have to plot the transfer characteristics. So, let me solve it with step by step. I will give you the simplest method of solving the uh, solving these kind of questions. So, first look into the circuit. The very first step what you need to do here is, we need to find the voltage which is available at this terminal. Okay, here we have two parallel diodes, two diodes connected in parallel. So, uh, it is called as a dual clipper or a double clipper. So here we can, we need to first step, what you need to do is, you need to find the voltage at this point, as well as voltage at this point. Okay, so to do that, let us take an equivalent circuit of this. So let me write, draw the equivalent circuit. So in that equivalent what, the circuit, what we will do, you will just replace the diode with its equivalent value. So diode is having a 0 0.7 cutout voltage, right? Uh, cutting voltage so we can replace this diode with some battery this is cathode that has to be a negative anode has to be represented as a positive and this is negative positive given in the question itself so i just replace it as it is right next we have another diode with a positive and negative here anode will be termed as a positive terminal cathode is termed as a negative terminal and this battery keep it as it is so this is the output. So after getting this circuit, we need to find, we can easily identify the voltage which we are going to get at this point. So that is most important term to solve the problem. So let's see how to get that. See, write the values. This battery is of 7.3 volt. And what is this battery? It is a diode which is having a cutting voltage of 0 0.7. So this is 0 0.7 volt. Same here. It is 5.3 volt. This is of 0 0.7 volt. Right. Now, how we need to read is, we have to read this in this direction. Okay. So, this is plus, minus, plus, minus. So, I can say that the voltage at this terminal can be given as, you read it like this and get the summation of this voltage. So, plus to minus, it is minus 7.3 and plus to minus, it is minus 0 0.7. So, the voltage is total minus 8 volt. I can say that voltage obtaining at this terminal will be minus 8. If you, do, if you consider this as an ideal old, ideal diode, then directly we can write minus 7.3 because we have negative terminal here. See, we have negative terminal and this is also placed like this, so we got negative value. Just, I am giving you the brief method. Once you be perfect with that, by just looking into this, you can write what is the voltage at this point. Okay? So now, let us see for this part. So we read it in this direction, minus 2 plus, minus 2 plus. So it is plus 5.3, 5.3 plus 0 0.7. It is 6 volt. So the voltage at this terminal will be 6 volt. See, these two are the major terminal, major values in this problem. You need to find the voltage at these two terminals, at these terminals. Okay. Now, after getting this point, you can easily get those values without having the equivalent circuit also. By just looking into this, directly you can write it. Right? Uh, but in order to fetch a good mass in the exam, better you represent it like this. Sir. Okay? So, we got minus 8 and 6 volt. Now, after getting this, let us find the voltage at which the diodes will turn on and turn off. Okay? So, first let us consider this minus 8 value. Let us consider that if input V in, the input voltage is, what happens if uh, 
we uh, means let me let me try to turn on this diode now d1 so in order to turn on the diode d1 what voltage should i apply here i have to apply the voltage here which is lesser than minus 8 because this is anode and this is cathode diode will conduct only if anode is at higher potential and according to this picture already i am giving minus 8 at the anode so this terminal has to be greater than the minus 8 then only this diode will be on so how we get the voltage here that is from the input so i can say that if input is greater than the minus 8 if input is greater than minus 8 volts right then whether the diode conduct or not so i am just checking it if the input is greater than minus 8 this will cathode will become higher potential so diode will not conduct i want to write an expression for diode should on so i am writing d1 should be on so at what condition d1 will be on now if the input is lesser than minus 8 because this is cathode cathode has to be lesser potential so if this is lesser i will write it like this if V in is less than minus 8, then diode D1 will be on. Okay. And whenever the diode will get on, at that condition, you put it as equal. Even that condition also, diode will be on. So, I can say that if V in is less than or equal to minus 8, diode 1 will be on. Diode 1 is on. So, at the same condition, what happens to diode 2? You write that one also. So, if input is minus, less than minus 8, less than minus 8 means, if I say minus 8, minus 7, 0, okay, okay, if it is less than minus 8, we get here the same minus 8 value here, if it is less than minus 8, means say for example, if I give minus 8 or minus 7 here, will the diode conduct, this diode will not conduct, because the anode is having lesser potential than the cathode, cathode is 6 volt here, so I can say that at this condition diode 2 will be off, so D2 is off condition. Now, combiningly, you have to write what would be the output voltage at this input. So now, for that, we will write V out is equal to. See, what is happening here? Now, input is less than minus 8. If input is less than minus 8, only this is on. But this is off because I have anode terminal here. This has to be higher than this, but I have lesser voltage. So this is off. So this is just like open. So what will be the output? Output will be just following this voltage. Because this is on, this is conducting. So whatever the voltage I have here, that voltage will be the output. So I can say V out will be, what is the voltage here? Minus 8. So V out will be minus 8 volt. This is how you have to write the expression sir. No need of by hearting the formulas. Just analyze the circuit in this pattern. Okay. So I am just taking much time here so that you can understand the concept. If you want to understand, you can just solve this problem within a fraction of minutes. Okay. Now let's try let's look into the diode 2 so when this diode 2 will be on okay so we have cathode as 6 volt so i have to give the voltage at the anode which is greater than 6 if this voltage is greater than 6 then d2 will be on because anode should be at higher potential so v in what i'm giving here that has to be greater than 6 so write that condition if v in is greater than 6 or equal to if it is greater than 6 or equal to 6 volt, then this diode will be on. So, D2 is on. So, at that particular condition, means if I say, if I give, if I have given 6 here, so same 6 will be here. At that condition, what happens to the diode 1? Diode 1 will be in off condition, because if I give 6 here, this becomes higher than this, and that is going to be off. So, D1 is off. It all depends upon the position of a diode. So now, what would be the output? If this is off, this is just like open circuit. Okay, this is just like a open circuit. And what would be the output? Output will just follow the voltage what I have here. Because this is conducting. This is conducting. D2 is on. So what is the output here? 6. So V out will be 6 volt. Now anyhow we got two conditions here. Okay. Now, what happens if the input voltage is in between this range? Okay. So if, if, uh, if input voltage is in between this range, both the diodes will be off. That is by default you can write it. Uh, no need of cross-checking it. But I will explain you how it is off. So now the third condition what we can write here is, here I will tell that if Vin is lesser than minus 8, what happens if it is greater than minus 8? So 
So let me write that. If b in is greater than minus eight, now don't consider this equal sign because we are writing the values which at which condition both the dots will be off, right? So v in is greater than minus eight, and if v in is, we take reverse of it. It is greater. So v in is less than six. Old. What will be the condition of the derivative? So if v in is greater than minus eight, what happens to this derivative? If this terminal is greater than minus eight, cathode is higher potential, so this will be off. So we can directly write d one is off. If v in is lesser than six, if it is lesser than six, what happens to this? If it is lesser than six, this anode is lesser than the cathode, so derivative two is also off. Two is also off. So this third condition you can write it by default. Once after getting these two values properly, this is most important for us. After getting this, in between this range, both the diodes will be off. If both the diodes are off, what would be the output? Output. This is open. This is open. So output will just follow the input. We are neglecting the voltage drop here. So we can write V out will be just equal to V in. Right. So these are the three voltage levels we are going to get for three different conditions. Right. so this is most important thing i hope the process has been very clear for you if it is clear just press the like button and also share it among your students among your friends sir so that they can also subscribe to this channel and they can also get benefited out of it okay now let's see how to draw the transfer characteristics and waveform first let us uh, plot the waveform so already i have an input waveform here for that i will write using this i will draw the output waveform so we have a condition here we have a different voltages that is minus 8 and 6 so in between that we have to get we will get the difference of the output so first i write these two points in the input so minus 8 you will somewhere here get you will get minus 8 so i will take this as minus 8 volt and positive 6 so in this part you will get somewhere here plus 6 okay so what happens Look at this. If input is lesser than minus eight, so what is the range between uh, lesser than minus eight? Okay, lesser than minus eight means this portion, this portion. Okay. If it is lesser than minus eight, what would be the output? Output is constant minus eight. So output will remain constant minus eight. What happens if input is greater than six? So look at in the picture. In the picture, input is greater than six. So this is six. Above this, we call we call it as a greater than six, six and ten in between that. It is greater than six. So what happens if input is greater than six? Output is remaining constant, six volt. So output remains constant, six volt. Now what happens in between? In between, it is just following the input. In between this minus eight and six, output is just following the input. So whatever the picture of input we have, we can trace as it is. so output is just following the input so beyond this if it is more than 6 output is 6 so it is constant now again you can trace it as it is and this is how the output will be so in the blue line this is the output so this is a clipper circuit it is clipping some portion in the positive and some portion in the negative that is why it is called a dual clipper or double ended clipper okay now i hope this is clear Okay, so now let's draw the transfer characteristics. So let's see how to get that. For that, I will just erase this portion. So remember those uh, values. That is the barrier voltage. That is minus eight under six. So let me plot it. So the output or uh, transfer characteristics is nothing but that is the plot between the input voltage and output voltage. Right now we have to identify two points. That is six volt and minus eight volt. So at the input side, say this is a positive region. Say this is plus six, and at the input side, this is negative region. Say somewhere here we get that the minus eight. Same way, output also we should mention, we should highlight that point six and minus eight. So those are the breakover points we have. So six, and at the output, this is the negative portion. So because this is minus V out, this is minus V in. Don't get confused. So on this plot, we can mention minus eight here, eight volt. And join this two, so it's it's nothing but some something is going to happen at this point here. Now, 
what is the transfer characteristics it is just nothing but a relation between a output and input voltage right so if the input if the input is in the is in between the minus 8 and 6 if we, we the input is between this minus 8 and 6 if the input is between minus 8 and 6 what is the output output is just following the input that's what earlier we have written here if input is in between this output is just following the input so what we need to do here is to get the transfer characteristic we need to find the slope slope is nothing but change in output with respect to change in input so what is happening here if the input is in between the 6 and minus 8 then output is just following the input so what would be the slope output will also change even input will also follow output will follow the input so it will have the same change so we both will be cancelled and we will get 1 so slope will be 1 means we will have an inclined so from this point to this point the slope will be 1 so we just join this from the center point ok so beyond this if input is at the positive side you consider this picture if input is above 6 if input is greater than 6 what happens to the output? Output is, output is constant now. Output is 6. It is constant. It is not changing. It is not changing according to the input. So what happens to the slope now? We can say that output is not changing. Input is changing but there is no change in output. After, beyond the 6, output is constant. So there is no change. So if there is no change, you will not get any slope. You will get 0. 0 means it, just, it will be a line, constant line like this. Same thing, if it input is less than minus 8, output is not changing. It is constant. So from this point, you can say it is constant. Okay. So beyond that, beyond minus 8. So this is how we have to plot the transfer characteristics and you need to plot the output waveforms for the given circuit. I hope this is clear for you. If it is clear, subscribe to my channel and also share among your friends. Thank you.